So it was through poetry and prophecy that Arthur first came into being. But it was Merlin's magic that made him not just a warrior, but a king. On Christmas Eve, when the nobles of England came out of church, they saw a great stone with an iron anvil into which a sword was fixed. And on the sword blade, inlaid in gilt, it said, whoever takes this sword out of the stone shall be king. And all the worthiest lords tried, and no one could move it. Then young Arthur happened to ride up on his horse, and he saw the stone. And he leaned over in his saddle, took the sword by the hilt, and drew it out. And the archbishop said, here is the man that God has chosen, as you have all seen. And that was the way Arthur became king. And that story shows how Arthur begins to attract other tales, like a magnet. Hi, Neil. Hi, Michael. Hi. Oh, so this is it. Oh. Yes, it's a simple charcoal furnace we're using today. Take a seat. Thank you. That's it. You just go left and right. That's great. The Sword in the Stone is one of the most famous of the tales of Arthur. You can go a little bit slower. But this part of the legend may come from much more ancient times. Back in the Bronze Age, this was an absolutely magical thing, as well as a, a, a dramatic technological innovation. The smith is somebody who transforms base metals into something beautiful and extraordinary. Neil Burridge is a bronze caster, and he's worked out the ancient technique of casting bronze swords in a stone mold. <laughs> we get rid of some of this charcoal on the top. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, look at it inside. We go this way. Okay. And, then we, and we pour? And we pour. There we go. Right, you can talk. Yeah, is that it? That's it. We can tell it's set now. Because it's not it's oh, not yeah. moving. Oh, so yeah. let me use this. Push the middle, oh, we yeah, can tell yeah. it's yeah. set. Right. So now we're gonna lay it down. Yeah. the mould apart. <laughs> so we've got a, God, a nice casting. God, See? look at that. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It is magic. So there's the sword in the stone. It's amazing how quickly you've got a weapon, isn't it? Once it's almost instant. That's a technique from the Middle Bronze Age, about 1000 BC, but you can see how a process like that was the kind of thing that could be remembered by the bards and the poets and handed down. Maybe the story of the sword in the stone is a, a hangover of that ancient past. <laughs> 